Today I'm going to teach you how to build a window mount for your camera. Um, I have a little handy cam here. Um, I don't use it a lot, but for the purposes of this video, it'll be fine. Um, I picked myself up a old GPS mount at Goodwill for about 50 cents. Um, I got myself a quarter inch bolt, three nuts that fit the bolt well, and, and a couple of washers. Um, those are your materials, um, and then uh, just a pair of pliers. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take apart the GPS mount. Um, most GPS mounts have a little screw back on them and a screw that holds in the bracket that you uh, would put your GPS in. This is useless to us, so we're going to get rid of that. Uh, the screw is actually too small to fit in the uh, camera itself, so we'll get rid of that and the other pieces. Um, you will, in some cases, need to bore out the hole here um, to fit your quarter inch screw. Uh, this one already fits it pretty well. Um, we're going to put a, uh, a nut on, followed by a washer. Um, obviously it's going to hold it a little better in place, and slip it through into the GPS uh, mounting bracket. Then we stick our other washer on, and another nut on. This um, actually allows you to adjust the height of the actual bracket itself. Um, we're actually going to put the third nut on here, um, which will be used as a stopper for our digital camera. Um, so we then have assembled our mounting bracket. We take our camera, find the hole. We simply screw it on in. And then this third nut, which I was talking about, we use it as actually a balancer. Um, you kind of tighten it up to the camera. This way, the camera on the bolt doesn't move um, or wiggle or adjust. Then we tighten down the nuts. And you'll find that the way GPSs are created, um, this right here, this gap here, we're just actually going to tighten this down. So our camera assembly is complete. Um, you can pop it on the surface, lock it down, and your camera can now be positioned um, in a multitude of ways. Um, obviously my table doesn't stick very well, but make sure that when once you mount it and it's level that you tighten down all your bolts and nuts and you're ready to start filming.